want to, you know, save the system. And what does that mean? It's like whack-a-mole. So every time there's a disturbance, you know, central banks, like, you know, the Federal Reserve in the U.S., they come in, they print money, they enact a bunch of regulations, and they basically say, okay, we don't want this sector to fail. We don't want, you know, the creative destruction that is so-called, you know, capitalism, if you actually believe in that. Um, we don't want that. And every, you know, five, seven years, there's another sector of the economy that is essentially price fixed. And so we've gotten to this point where, you know, globally, central banks have basically destroyed the free pricing mechanism, just about every single sector of the financial economy, except for one, which is the government bond markets, because they're so large, so unruly that it's practically impossible to essentially remove the market forces from this part of the market. But the problem is right now we're going to try. We've you know, <laughs> gone from, I know, 100% debt to GDP globally 